Located in one of Kenya's largest business complexes, the Altex Amir East Africa Data Center is a facility that offers top-of-the-range ICT services. A partnership between Altec and Kenya Data Networks, the center targets regional financial institutions, telecommunication firms, and government departments. We feel Kenya is a hub for data and voice traffic and for ICT uh, in the, on the African continent. And um, as, as part of Altec's investment, we have an investment right the, right the way across the region. So it's not just Kenya, it's obviously Rwanda and also Uganda. So we've got 6,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable connecting those East African countries. And that obviously hooks into the data center, that also hooks into the marine cables, which is Seacom teams and easy. Staying with its mission of enhancing the local economies in which it operates, the data center is built at an estimated cost of 7.5 million US dollars. It is the main building block from which smaller data centers will emerge as the company seeks to consolidate its presence within East Africa. We pretty much plan to host the clients from Kenya from this data center and we might have to set up sub data centers which are smaller data centers that will link into this particular data center. So the hub definitely here that will service those East African countries that I mentioned, Rwanda, DRC, Burundi, Uganda and Kenya. Data storage and security is key to business continuity and the data center provides a one-stop shop. Here, clients have access to server rooms, floor and rack space and enhanced security systems. Uh, it's actually a very pleasant surprise to find a data center of this quality which has come up in Kenya. Uh, I can tell you with my limited experience it is state-of-the-art, it is of a global standard and with this data center coming up today in Kenya, with KDN being the owner and the manager of that, uh, Kenya has been put on a global map uh, as far as the IT and its competencies are concerned. Kenya is touted as an ICT hub in East Africa. And with the country embodying information infrastructure in its economic vision, the government is appealing for more public-private partnerships. We also recognize that these technologies don't come cheap. That is why, having created the necessary infrastructure, we are now looking for investors who are keen to reap from, from and also extend the ICT revolution domestically. That is why I allow the initiative by the Samir Group and uh, uh, their partners. And I call on more to come in. Looking forward, the JSC listed firm is optimistic that with increased internet penetration and the landing of more fiber optic cables along the east coast of Africa, Kenya is poised for global ICT competitiveness. I think that um, the investment will be a good one. I think that um, it's something that we feel very passionate about. And we've invested a lot of money to ensure that we uplift. You know, if you look at internet penetration rates in Africa, it's about 9%. Um, in Europe and America, it's 60 to 80 percent. So the internet penetration is going to pick up on the African continent, especially now that we've got the undersea marine cables, Seacom, Easy, and Teams. And because we've got that international bandwidth and we've got a very good local terrestrial fiber network through KDN, um, I believe that the internet penetrations, as they rise, it's going to require more traffic to be put on networks and it's going to require data centers such as this.